What's up, folks? Welcome to the 85th episode of Tales from the Archive here on Handelabra Games. My name is Zach from Another Letdown Media and the Adjacent Hex Podcast. I will be your host this evening. Tales from the Archive is the show where we use the, se- the medium of Sentinels of the Multiverse, the digital game, to tell a story of some kind. Some will be Tales from the actual Sentinels storylines, and others will be totally original and or based on previous work. For consistency's sake, I do try to match each story up with an existing Sentinel Comics book title that has been mentioned previously by either Christopher or Adam or both, but by no means does that make them real or official canon or anything like that. You can kind of think of this as the Earth-603 Sentinels of the Multiverse. There will often be times where I deliberately make a play that doesn't make a whole lot of sense strategically because it contributes in some way to the narrative we've created. I will do my best to uh, try and win games, but even heroes fall sometimes, and that just makes for fun and interesting stories, as we are very likely to find tonight. Uh, as with all the shows on the Handle Arbor Games channel, as well as the Another Letdown channel, uh, we believe in civil rights for absolutely everyone and in being as inclusive as possible, so any comments or activity actively working against that goal are not welcome and will not be tolerated. So, without any more delay, let's open the oldie book of the multiverse and get this party started. Wow, 85 episodes. Uh, that's not an insignificant number. Um, yeah, 85 episodes. I mean, that means we're rapidly closing in on 100, which, uh, God, RPD, I hope you got some good ideas, buddy, because uh, I have no idea what to do for a 100th episode special. And it's going to have to be a doozy. Um, I've mentioned it on the last couple of shows, but uh, it's kind of a little bit of shameless self-promotion. But definitely want, tune in to my Thursday night streams. Uh, that's Zach Sucks at Games over the, on the Another Letdown channel. That is where we workshop most of the stories that we broadcast on Tales from the Archive. Um, obviously, I am lousy with ideas for stories, but I want to engage the chat a little bit better. The community is a little bit better in these stories as well. Um... Being that I was, uh, that last weekend was Easter, we didn't have a Tales from the Archive, um, two weekends, two weeks ago for, on Thursday night we had, or I had the uh, school talent show, so we didn't have a Zach Sucks at Games. This past week, uh, wow, my camera's all oh, manner of glitchy today. Uh, this past week, I, okay, this past week, um, what was I, oh, it was, I, I was watching Endgame. Uh, I promise I won't spoil anything. I swear. I, I will not say a thing. Um, so we didn't have a Zack Sucks Games this week. So I've had... I've had utterly no uh, story stuff. Um, but I promise, this coming Thursday, we will have another Zack Sucks Games. We'll be back with Legend of Zelda. It's going to be great. I'm super excited for it. However, next week, next Sunday there's not going to be a Tales from the Archive because I've got a family function that I have to go to. May May and April are difficult. Let's just say that. Uh, April, May. Difficult. Um, Yeah, it's it's called Bad Lighting, RPD. Let's try that. Um, Actually, you know what I could do? I could just reposition this slightly. I don't know. We'll see if that changes anything. It's also the fact that I'm moving my arms rapidly and changing the light. Like, if I wave my arm in front of my light, which is here, uh, it might change the light, but I th- it seems to, things, to, things seem to have stabilized. Um, so yeah, with no um, with, with no story input, that means we've got one of two things that we can do. Um, the month of April and James May are both difficult. Thank you, RPD. Well done. Um, give yourself a hero point for that. Uh, anyway, so without any story input, there are two things we can do. One, we can do a... Uh, again chat uh, chat writes a story we've done a bunch of those in the last couple of months i'm over that two we can fight oblivion because oblivion is stories too so that's what we're going to do tonight we're going to do an oblivion game um hopefully uh, if everything goes uh proper properly um we'll be out of here in time for game of thrones uh if we're not my wife is likely to kill me so if we don't finish the game within the two-hour span of Tales from the Archive, I'm going to cut it short. We'll finish it next week. Um, because the only time that this lap... My cats have gotten my headphones. Um, 
the only time that this laptop gets used for anything other than Tales from the Archive or Zack Sucks at Games is when my wife is watching Game of Thrones. So, um... Sonvar says, whoa, 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 there's a story with Oblivion? Correct. Oblivion is not an everyday game. It isn't meant to be. Exactly. That's why we're using it as a... Sorry, next time, Seamus Butler. Yeah, next, next time. Um, actually, all things considered, like, it isn't inconceivable that I might be back in time from Family Function next week to do a short, uh, like, conclusion story. It won't be a full stream, but, like, uh, I don't know. We'll just, we'll say next time, uh, and we'll move forward with that. So, um, in the spirit of an Oblivion game, we need some heroes. Who's got some suggestions for me? I would like to, I, I'll, I'll pick one myself first here. Um, who do I want to see in the game here? It's always my boy. Uh, new boy. Oh, Void Guard. We could stick the Void Guard in there. Void Guard, Freedom 5, Bunker. I'll pick one member of Void Guard. How's that? Just so we have a little bit more working space, Seamus Butler. Um, and, I'll, and I'll still take... Well, setback is my boy. But uh, in terms of... Like, okay, so my, like, go-to team right now is, set, is, is Tempest, Rive, and question mark uh, so I'm seeing freedom 5 bunker alright that's fine I can do that that is this one I can do that I see a, a vote from Mr. Fixer I'm bringing Mr. Fixer benchmark can get a lot of rewards that's true prime warden's argent adept Prime Warden's Arch Adept is not bad. Sure, we'll bring him in. Um, what's up, Sparky? Thank you for, for the boop. Who do I want to put in here? I said one of the Void Guard, so I'm gonna I'm gonna bring in my boy Rise. Maybe one more. We'll go a full team of five here. Fanatic. All right, let's do it. You all know how much I like to do damage. I am a very Jeremy player in terms of um, in terms of that. Uh, environments. We need some environments. Sparky Wolf, we'll get absolute zero right away. Like as soon as we lose one, we'll, we'll bring in we'll bring in our boy. He's he's good. He's fun. Nexus, yeah. All right. New stuff. Whoa. Nexus of the Void is in Wagner Mars Base. That's an old classic. Ruins of Atlantis, sure. Why not? Silver Gulch, yeah, you got it. Uno mas. It's literally all I know in Spanish. Madam Mita Myers. Yeah, no, I'm down with Madam Mita Myers. Where is it? There it is. All right, so we've got Oblivion hitting the Nexus of the Void. Uh, is this an is this an acceptable order for the environments, folks? What are people thinking? Last time we faced Oblivion, we got him down to like 30-something HP in the third form. Wilner Absis seems good. I'm inclined to agree with you. Alright, RPD says good, so that's three. Three votes for good. Let's fight. Sparky Wolf says hype, hype, hype. Hype. 
Will Smith disgusting genie hype. Okay. <laughs> I, I got nothing. All right, so Bunker has abrasive adhesive foam grenade, a Gatling gun, and a turret mode. Mr. Fixer has Grease Monkey Fist, Jack Handle, Pipe Wrench, and Tire Iron. Prime, Wardens, Prime Wardens, Arjun Adept has Arcane Cadence, Polyphoric Flare, times two, and Juice Bell. Uh, Writhe has Cloak Projector, Distorted Perception, Summoned, Swallowed by Shadow, sorry, and Unquiet Knight. Fanatic has Absolution, Divine Focus, Divine Sacrifice, she's very, being very divine today, and Sanctifying Strike. Uh, Oblivion, what is, what is kicking around here? Um, yeah, we, okay, we know. Okay, the primary objective is uh, Void Soul Shield. There's Void Soul himself. Itself. Uh, here's the Void Soul card. We'll take a look at that in just a second. Sign Reserve is all set. Uh, we've also got... Um, can't remember her name. Sanction. There we go. I got the easy shield. Okay, so is this is this a uh, we hunker behind the shield? Air to nothingness. Well, that's lovely. And we immediately incapacitate Rive. Wow, that was just brutal. Aeon Vassal, Aeon Warrior, and Aeon Locus. All right, so I promised I was I would bring in uh, Absolute Zero, so here we go. Uh, any particular... Ver who was it that made the call for that one? Was it Sparky? Yeah, Sparky, which, uh, which uh, Absolute Zero do you want me to bring in? What is, uh, what is Sanction's flip side? Oops. Or when the trash is shuffled in the Scion deck. Flip this card. Oh my god, that's ugly. Freedom 5, Freedom 5 Absolute Zero. You got it. Well, uh, that, that was a start. That was a rocky start. You can clear by playing naturally. All right. Uh, question is, do I want to move to the second battle the battle zone and take on Sanction? Um. Oh shoot. Sorry. Okay. Um. Oh, nice, Seamus Butler. Spirit Island is so good. Sure. All right, so we got a Gatling gun. In the second battle zone, the only target is Sanction herself. So do we just start gunning her down? Uh, what's on top of the deck here? At the end of your turn, if there are more hero targets than non-hero targets in this battle zone, ah, uh, darn. Uh, okay, so if I pass that to someone else, yeah, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to move in, actually, this will do it. I can take on this, this objective right now. And then, yeah, I'm, uh, yeah, air to nothingness is, uh, is what happened there. Okay, Omni Cannon, sweet. And Frostbound Drain. Nice. Unfortunately, Oblivion's here too, so we're gonna have to bring. someone else into. In, oh, shoot. Oh, I did that wrong. I punted that entire turn. Dang it. Hold on. 
Nope, I still punted. So what I have to do... <sighs> Try to avoid Void Soul if going for rewards. So I'm going to leave that on top. I'm going to bring in... It's probably, probably wrong. Okay, there's that Omni Cannon we were talking about. I need to move someone else into the zone, so sure. Let's do that. Let's take on this objective. And if I'm lucky, I should be able to... That's... Okay, fair, RPD. And this is going to bring in Cursor. Okay, cool. Um, Jack Handle, not great here. I'm going to bring in Pipe Wrench. Bonk Sanction. Yes, there we go. Okay, immediately grab Cursor. Um, when an objective is flipped in either battle zone... Okay. Okay. I mean, fine. Alright, so Argent and Fnatic are going to try and take care of... You're trying to avoid Void Soul. Alright, fine. So, I'm going to take your advice here. Gen aggro. Uh, reveal the top three cards of your deck. If you reveal at least three different keywords. Um, sure. Let's do that. Let's do this. And we can we can rig some of the deck here. Okay, so this is bad. We got a whole bunch of one-shots. Which is... I mean, it's, it's good that we played Arcane Cadence, really. Uh, we'll put this in hand. That's fine. Top of the deck... This is two different ones right here. Very bottom, sure. Oh, we're gonna draw one though. Or, or no, wait, maybe we're not. It's fine. Okay, so that was sort of a mistake. Each hero may take one card other than Bruno. Yeah, it's fine. Unfortunately, that's only gonna hit. Oh no, no, no this is fine. card. Play the bell. Just get stuff ready here. Yep. Yes! Got two! Got the big gun! The big gun! Unfortunately, to like, he's gonna go down into the second zone, like, really, really fast. So I'm just, like, aggressively trying to get rewards as fast as possible. Do you want to move to the first battle zone? Um, what are the in cap abilities here? One hero may use a power, destroy an ongoing card, select a hero, and reduce damage. Um, that'll allow us to smack with Fixer again. What's the what's coming off the deck here? At the end of your turn, play the top two cards of the environment deck at the end of I wanna know so I'm probably gonna end up rewinding here, uh, but I wanna know how this interacts with the adhesive foam grenade. It's probably not gonna work, but I'm gonna try it. No, this is fine. And take on the objective. Fine. And then we're going to do... We can do installation here. Draw that, because we knew that was coming. Put this one into hand. And we'll grab this. I th I, that's what I thought, Gen Aggro, but... We're going to try it here. Because, you know, we've been wrong in the past. You know what I mean? 
Um, we're gonna grab Cold Snap. So hopefully at the end of Fanatic's turn, assuming we move here. Um, what do we got? At the end of your turn, each hero may deal themselves two psychic damage whenever... Uh, you know what? We're going to do it. We're just going to do it. We're going to bring out Absolution. You've been bitten by the homebrew bug. As in, like, homebrew is the board game? Because that game is sweet, and everybody should be bitten by that. Yes! Cold War is here! Look at all this. We got a gun, we got two heroes. You have four tokens on a true hero in the end. Like, we are cranking through this, folks. Yep, fine. Here's Atlantis. Which can't do anything. Science, slot, scatter slaughter. Okay. Fine, fine. What just happened here? Oh, gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, so, Team Orchid, I actually... Um, I am currently lousy with store credit. <laughs> because reasons. And uh, so I just bought like four core rule books for, for various RPGs. I'm actually really excited about them. Um, I bought... Uh, I'm gonna get rid of target mode. Um, I bought uh, the core rules for um, the Dark Eye, which is a sort of more crunchy D and D, which is probably a trap, but I'm interested in it. I'm I'm curious. I guess is the more apt description. Um, and I bought uh, Age, Age of Rebellion. Yeah, Age of Rebellion. And uh, Legend of the Five Rings, the new one. So I'm actually I'm interested to, to try try out a few new systems here, and uh, we'll see what happens. Disrupt space time. Everything takes two, and it looks like we're all bounced into the other battle zone. This is, this is a lot of damage. Oof. It was real bad. It's real bad. Oh, it's real bad. Do we survive? Do we live? Probably not. There's a bunch of Aeon men. Okay. All right. We lived. We lived. Um, all right. We need to look at the meanwhile. Uh, the card on top is at the end of your turn, this card deals the hero target with the highest HP. Three damage, then destroy one ongoing card. When this card... Oh, boy. Citizen Storm is rough. Um, it's 12 hit point target. I think I'm going to shuffle it here. Oh, he's so good, though, on the other side. It's 19, and he destroys a bunch of crap. Man. We're doing it. We're doing it. We're just doing it. I'm running out the grenade again. We're not going to get a, a shot off with Bunker here, but... Draw another one. Unfortunately. Citizen Storm does his thing. Yep, we're moving in. Uh, what's this? At the end of your turn, you may select a card in your hand, shuffle your deck... Reveal the top card of your deck. Slayer shit. Yeah. Alright, yeah, we'll do it. We'll do it. We're gonna do it. Um, going in with Grease Monkey fish, Fist. And unfortunately, we are gonna target Citizen Storm here. With Infernal Damage. 
with three. Um, try this one. Dang. We whiffed on that one. Bugger. Yep. Uh, at the end of your turn, you may move the hero to the other battle zone. <sighs> yeah, I mean, I'm just aggressively taking them on at this point. Yeah, okay, sweet. Search your deck for trap. Um... Alright, we're gonna do this. Hit you. I'm trying, I'm trying really hard to flip him. I don't think I can do it. Well, I can try. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That 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 didn't go as as planned, but you know. Yep. We'll just bot back and forth. Try and put tokens on the nature, nature's compulsion as quickly as we can. Uh, yep, happy to do that. Uh, whenever, regardless of what battle zone you're in, if Oblivion is dealt, uh, I think I'd rather just take it. Oh shoot! Oh right, I bounced him. Darn it! All right, that's fine. I'll go with Fixer instead. Come on, hit him. Hit him hard and hit him harder than that. Okay, sweet. This, this did it. Alright, so... The shield is... Down. Or, the shield... No, sorry. The shield... The first shield phase is down. Uh, if he's ever dealt five or more, reduced. Okay, so we, get, we got some time. We're not, uh, we're not out of this yet. Well, I'm gonna do this again. For extra card draws, card plays. Didn't really work the way I wanted it to, but that's all right. Let's do that. Yeah, I know. I got gotcha. you. I think he's back in first zone now too. So uh, this isn't going to do a whole lot, but. That's fine. I'm just jamming on sanction. Fitting that Absolute Zero got Cold War out into play. Um, I could drop that shield right now if I wanted to. I've got a few rewards. Yeah, see, that's... Yeah. So I don't think I can get into the damage race just yet. I, I just don't think it's a good idea. Oh yeah, no, definitely go to Google and if you haven't already done this, this is not a spoiler for Endgame, if you haven't already done this, go to Google, type Thanos, and then click on the Infinity Gauntlet on the uh, on the right hand side. It is super funny. We were playing with, playing with it at the store all day yesterday. Or two days ago. Alright, what is my goal here? Ah, yes. So, I want to be in the same zone as everybody else. Yep. Fine. Nope. Just going to shuffle the deck. Sanctifying Strike. Hit you. Get some card draw out of it. Final Dive is sick. Take it, Sanction. Get wrecked. Unfortunately, this is going to drop AZ, but... Oh, 
Oh, it didn't. All right, so we have a brother sacrifice. We, it is ready to go. It is live. Biomes are indestructible. All right. Okay, I guess not. No, oh, I got a little healing out of it. This this team is dead for the is not long for the world though. Move a blue onto this battle zone. He's already there. Oh god. No oh god. Hello, Dark Mind. Uh, I didn't want to see you today. Oh boy. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on right now. But Eternal Timber does seem to be doing work, so that's nice. We're into the second battle zone now. Uh, can't play cards, so that's a thing. Now the bad stuff. Okay, okay. That's not strictly the worst, I guess. Sorry, Absolution. Let's find a way to get that back. Um, yeah, I know, Team Orchid. Thank you for the reminder. Not a whole lot I'm going to be able to do about that, though. Yeah, okay, there we go. Cursor can shake that right off. Oof. Okay, this is, this is bad. Uh, we're gonna lose absolute zero, I think. At least. Question is, do we want to prevent the damage and keep Bunker around? His hand currently Gatling gun. There's another adhesive foam grenade. That's actually a really strong hand. Is it too early for this? Do it. Done. Oh, right, because it. Right, because it saves everybody. You're right, RPD. Nice job. Okay, Locust, Brawl, Vassal. Basically, we're just staying out of zone one here. Uh, no, thank you. Uh, whenever you cause another player to play a card, use a power or draw a card, add one token. That is not a thing the Bunker is doing, unfortunately. We're not going to get another turn out of this, so we're just going to grenade again. Recharge mode. Salvage yard. Or fire. Sanctifying strike. Um, yeah, that's fine. There's a the grenade launcher. Hero target deals two or more damage to multiple targets in a single turn. Deals one target four or more damage at once, or destroys a target. Add a card. Yeah. Uh, huh. Oh, sorry, Gen Agro. Oh shoot, that was a mistake. Wait a minute. Let's uh, let's actually take a closer look at this. Uh, no. Great fortune does what? Select a card in your hand, shuffle... Oh, yeah, 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 it's that. Um, nope, I'm just not going to do that. We can do that with other player, other heroes. That's fine. Let's see if we can drop Sanction here. And keep it up with the Infernal damage. Five points. Uh, let's do... 
firearm. Yes! Unfortunately. Yes! Lucky Break is here! You know, it's, it's my boy if he was actually good at being a person. At the end of your turn, reveal the top card of your deck. Each player may play a card that shares a keyword with the revealed card, then put the revealed card into play. Cool! Sure. Yep. Fine. Dead Sanction. Uh, yeah. Sure. Um. I, I guess. <laughs> I guess. Bad sanction, get back into your sword. Darn right, Seamus Butler, darn right. Oh, hi. Oh, hi, Nixius. Didn't see you there. There's nothing I can final dive here. Nixius the Unwanted. Yes, correct, Seamus. Well, we got some Nemesis shenanigans going on, so that's a thing. Uh, let's see. Sure. Uh, what do I got? I got Driving Man, just like I got Grease Monkey Fist, so let's get Riveting Crane. Um, let's just put it in the hand, because I don't think we're lasting here too much longer. Uh, Bulwark is here. What does this do? A company text. Yeah, that's actually quite strong. Let's do that. Unfortunately, we're just going to shoot things here. I can blow up the shield now. I don't know if this is if that's the right move. Oh, no. No, it's not. I can't. Yet. I'll just hit Nixius with it. Hit you with Big Cannon. Hit you with Big Cannon. Uh, do I want... Yeah, I do. Unfortunately. Just got to keep getting tokens in there. Um, is it whenever anybody moves into the first zone? That text? Yeah. So let's, let's, let's do this. Just to, tr to tick that. Um. Whenever a hero target does two or more damage to multi- Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. We can do that. Because. Oh, wait. No, I can't. Eternal Timber's kicking around. I forgot about that. Darn it! Alright. I don't know if this is going to do any good, but... That's not helpful. That would have been helpful. Oh, your hero. Darn it. Stupid. <sighs> Let's roll that back. No. Take it on. Take on me. Take me on. Focus. It's not going to do any good. At the end of your turn, reveal the top card of your deck and discard a card. Yeah, alright. That's fine. I can discard an equipment. Uh, there's nothing I can final dive. Man, I wish I could do that. Um, 
We're bringing Undaunted. Here you go, Nixius. Take four. You Shirkosaurus. Uh, discard that. And we've got Omni Unity. Nixius the Unwanted takes a bunch of damage. That's a lot of damage. Well, Argent's here, and that makes sense, so, you know, there that is. But Argent had to heal a little bit, that's nice. Magma's Rage! You know that when you kill Nixius, you sh really should get some sort of thank you from Oblivion, too. Yeah, you're not wrong. Okay. The bell's not doing us any good right now. Unfortunately. This is gonna this is gonna knock us over. Yep, sure does. Sorry, buddy. You were too beautiful for this world. Alright, who are we bringing in? Suggestions, chat. Realistically, we're probably going to have to bring in a fair number of heroes here. Luminary? I'm down with Luminary. Regular or Heroic? Regular or Heroic? Where's the regular Luminary? You got it. Baron Blade, get in here! The face of... You face the savior of Mordengrad. I didn't get a chance to read the whole thing. Um, do I want to remove to the second battle zone? Like, I mean, I guess. Sure. Yep. Ruins still doesn't get to do anything. Unfortunately, we are very, very close to the ruins of Atlantis being blown the heck up. Ah! That's disgusting, what? Okay. <laughs> that was, that was terrifically disgusting. Ay ay ay. Oh boy. Alright, we're about to lose a lot of people here. And a lot of Aeon, man. I'm tabbing here because there's just a lot of stuff going on. That is kind of... Oh boy. Lots of devastation. Oh god. Oh, it's getting ugly. It's getting super duper ugly in here. Alright, that's one down. That's two down. No, Luminary gets to hold on. Everybody else is dead, though. Oh, God. Oh, Fnatic is still alive because the Aegis came out. Oh, God. Oh, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. That is real bad. Whew. All right, let's bring in some new heroes. We need... We need three of them. Who do we want? Is it time to go for damage race? Is it time to bring in legacy? RPD says the Sentinels. Seamus Butler says legacy. We'll bring in legacy. Uh, vanilla legacy? Young legacy? Grandpa? Who do we want? Dark Watch Night Mist. But she was already dead at that point, Sparky. Which is, I hate to admit it. Young Legacy. You got it. She's in. Uh, are we doing this? Are we just going for damage here?
think we are. I think it's time for the race. No, we'll, we'll, we'll pull them out because we can do it on top of turn. Uh, I saw the Sentinels. What? No way! I can mix and match? Oh, that's a load of baloney! What is this madness? I, I mean, RPD, this was your call. Who's in? Okay, all right. Well, RPD, this was your call. So which, which, let's start with Dr. Med. All normal. Okay, you got it. Miranda, honey, cover your ears. Uncle Jackson's going to say some of those grown-ups only words now. Oh, I love it. And then we had uh, Dark Watch Night Mist was the other suggestion. She's in. She's probably going to become a gateway, but we're doing this. All right. Um, so Oblivion is currently in Battle Zone 1. This is going to happen real soon. Um, in fact, it's going to happen next turn. Yeah, 19 tokens is real bad. Do we do it? Do we start the damage train? Second battle zone, there's, there's really not much here. There, there's no scions. I'm moving. Citizen Storm is here. Bring in Citizen Storm. Hit Nixius. There's another Flying Smash. Okay, yeah. Legacy's ready to rock and roll here. Imperion. I guess we expected that. Guess we should have expected that. They are not ready yet. Uh, let's bring in Lucky Break. Let's bring him back. Uh, there's not really much to hit here. I'm going to try and keep Fnatic in. Oh, I can keep Omni Unity in the game. Let's do that. <laughs> Sparky Wolf is ready to go. Uh, a one shot. I mean, fine. Let's do unique capabilities. Let's go get the Dura Steel Chains. Let's play. Uh, does this work? I'm, I'm, uh, I don't want to take this back. No, that's fine. It's fine. Um, horrifying dichotomy. Let's do it. No, I didn't think it would, Seamus Butler. But it'd be funny. Got to admit that. All right, we got... Ooh. Ooh. We can brilliant inventors fine. I love this art. Like, how hysterical is this art? Destroying a number of your devices. That's not in play. 
Uh, no. No, it's Brilliant Inventor. Play a card before you play a card. Pre-play a card? Night Mist, play a card. Uh, if only she was in the other zone. Hashtag blame John. Let's go get some uh, artifacts here. Tome. Tome. Star Shield. Nice. Stupid Dark Mind. I could final dive some. Is there something I can final dive right now? There's not. I guess we'll Divine Sacrifice. I was hoping to save Divine Sacrifice for uh, Oblivion himself, but... Uh, nope, that's fine. We'll stop dealing damage there. And we get to do another thing. Uh, let's go with Caligno's form. Let's... Can I fling something? Yes, I can. Let's fling an Aeon Warrior into darkness. Take that, you jerk. What a jerk. What a jerk. All right, let's do it. It's time. Let's grab that infinity cannon right back. Nice, nice. I just want I want to race him. I want to do it. You guys, I want to do it so bad. But I can't. I, I can't. Like in good conscience, I can't. Uh. I... Mm. <laughs> yep, let's keep him active. Uh, yep, we're, we're going for it. There's Cold War. I'm bringing all the reward stuff back. We had some good ones, so I'm just like, uh, yeah. Uh, very top. Heedless. Second from the top, we'll put Oblivion. And we'll go down, down one more. Ow. Okay. Uh, yep. We're doing this. I want to take this so bad. Because Oblivion Shard is so good. But it's in one turn. Man, I want to take this. Let's try it. I'm going to try it. Alright. i got to find a way to deal a bunch of damage to him. And it's just not going to happen this turn, I don't think. It's probably a mistake taking that card, actually. Ways to annoy Pars. Unfortunately. Yeah, it was a mistake doing that. It's only going to be one. It just stinks. I got Dark Mind down to one. Devouring River. Stinks. Okay, Dark Mind is out. 
Oh god, really? I guess that was inevitable. We're in a spot, folks. Guess who we're going after now? The target has shifted. I mean, we're gonna have some problems here. Yeah, right. Ruins of Atlantis finally gets to play cards. And it's a bad one, too. It's one we didn't want to see. Okay, here he is. This goes off. Yep. Let's bring in the Mars base. Oh, gods. Here we go! Yeah, Voss gets to eat that. Of course, our entire team now is just vaporized. Oh, man. So much for easy shield. Right? And here's Progeny. Unreal. I don't know how the Sentinels survived that. Alright, I'm gonna bring in Dad. You killed my daughter, prepare to die. We'll start him in the second zone. Um, bring in Jim. Road Warrior Mainstay? Yeah, alright. Oh, I don't have the variants turned on! Oh, I'm stupid! Oh, I'll bring in regular Mainstay instead. Sorry, Sparky. I forgot to turn the variants on for the new characters. We've still got, like, we're going to lose another environment here, too, so. Oh, this is bad. This got really, really bad. Sorry.
Want me to tell the story of that game now? As good a time as Oblivion games seem to have, have a degenerating in the game long rounds of not you now I'm working. Ah. No, yeah, go for it, RPD. It, it keeps me from getting too focused. Uh, no, he's not in a good place. I think so. Unfortunately, I just gotta keep bringing things back, which is, like, really disappointing. Okay, there's some damage. Oh, stink. I went to the... yeah. Sure, why not? don't have... No. Oh yeah, he's got DR of 15. How do you get rid of that? Right. I think so, Sparky. I, I... I'm just doing it. This is this is extremely loose, but. There's another sudden contract, that's fine. Um, sure. If we can survive a turn, like, we're not in the worst shape. But, the problem is, I, I gotta get... Oblivion to move out of the zone of the boss. On to you. Just trying to do as much damage as can as I can. To whatever I can. This is kind of where I'm at right now. Sure. Yeah, what a, what a jerk, right? Oh. Of course, we're losing another environment here, which is not ideal in any way. Yep, that's gonna happen. No. Big mainstay can take that one. Send that one over. Yikes. 16 damage. Good lord. Oh, wait, we can just wipe out Imperion here. <laughs> Nicely done, uh... Boss. Of 
unfortunately. I don't think Chrono Ranger is going to stay around a whole lot longer here. Yep, here's Aeon Master. Aeon Man, attack. Look at this jerk. Sorry, Medico. Unfortunately, everybody has to take this. Oh, boy. No. This is just bad. Okay. Yeah, that happens. Of course, Legacy's like all alone in zone two. Alright, here we go. Here's another one. Which one did we lose? Did we lose the Mars base already? I think we did. <laughs> oh my god. Well, Oh, well, we're all in this... Oh, hold on. We're not in that zone. So, this happens to not us. But we're going to lose another environment here very, very shortly. Oh, well, oh, oh, oh. Okay, he flipped. Oh, God. Here's Faultless. I'm starting to learn the uh, Scion names. He killed Progeny. He's aggroing Voss. Okay, now he's moved into back into our zone, but he's only dealing five, so... Okay, Voss flip. Wait, Voss flipped? Oh, boar. Okay, never mind. That's boar. <laughs> wow. Whoops. Uh, okay, so currently, where are we at? Oblivion's in the second zone. So, I think we just gotta go fast here. It's the in-cap ability. Going nuts here. Let's, this is the plan. Uh, players may plan it is uh, at the start of your turn. Wait, what? Play the top. Oh god, this is really bad. Oh, this is actually really aggressively bad. We're gonna lose the Sentinels. And Chrono Ranger. Great. More direct damage. Okay, we got rid of the shield. It's go time. We need we need damage and we need it hard and fast. Um, I think that means raw. Um, I 
I'm bringing in Setting Sun Ra. Nope. We're staying in this zone. Uh, nope. Unfortunately. Oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, at the end of your turn, each player may discard and or destroy any number of their equipments or mechanical golems. Uh, what do we have for equipment? No. 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 So, okay, so this is not going to happen. We're going to use an incapacitated ability. Um... Uh, Destroy one of these. Yeah, that's fine. One, two. We're gonna run out second. We're gonna run up second chance. We're gonna try and bring Miranda back here. I'm just, I'm just going for it. This is not going to work out very well, but I'm going for it anyway. Come on, give me a fire blast. Dang it. No. Um, oh, he's got the gun. I may be overvaluing the gun, but... If I can keep him alive, I can imbue fire next turn and hopefully get somewhere. No. Do I have a thing that will allow card play? Raw setting gun. Oh, here we go. Yes. I do. Raw. Imbue us with fire. Hey, Johnny Splat. What's going on? We are, we are trying our best to drop the hammer on Oblivion. He just turned over to his second side. He's well on the way to destroying the third environment. Like, we are in a spot, but gosh darn it. I mean, we still got Voss to deal with, which is bad, but uh, good gosh. No. I don't want to go mono a mono with him. Sweet Rhonda. Alright, we're doing this. I've got as much damage boosting as I can in here. Just try and get aggressive he's only popped two So, I don't think so. I could be wrong. I've been wrong in the past. Do your worst. Nothing you can hit there. Yeah, I know. The boar's gonna do a thing. Leaking room. Alright. What does that say? Can't remember this card. Stop stop doing things. I'm gonna read this card. Players cannot play hero cards. Increase all lightning damage by two. Okay, that's fine. I 
probably going to lose main state anyway, so... It's fine. Oh, shoot, we lost! Well, that was... abrupt. Okay, Bulnerap, you were right, sorry. That's my bad. I guess I didn't even notice when the carnival came into play. Wow. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it, it didn't, uh... Hmm. It didn't even, like, I, I didn't even notice. Which, that... I, I view that as a problem. Like, actually blame John on that one. I, I feel like there should be some kind of alert that says, hey, you know, this is the last one. Just just like a just a box that pops up that says, confirm, this this is the last one. I'm I'm actually kind of angry about that. Huh. Like I'm not tilted, but I'm just I'm a little angry that I didn't I didn't even notice that that was the last environment to come out. All right, well, we lost. That sucks. Yeah, just just a heads up, the next one is death. Like that would have been very very useful. Well, we played a good game. The early the early stages of the game were really solid. Um so now I'm mad at Voss, and we've got time for a backup story. Let's kick his teeth in. Let's get a fun team together. Oh, let me activate the variants on these. Before I forget. Before I forget. Oops. Okay, he's unlocked already. Okay, they're all unlocked. Bulner Apps is Tempest. Yeah, I'm in. You know I love my some Tempest. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, like... I... You can make an argument for and against, right? I just think... Like, the, the the game is set up to be desperate, and I, I think, like, and you're, like, it, it almost encourages you just playing really, really fast. So, I might talk to John about that and just be like, hey, you know, on that last environment, it might help to just see some sort of thing. All right. We need some other uh, other heroes. Who can we kick Voss's teeth in with? Hawk is pretty good at kicking teeth. I don't like to lose. Stunt man, yeah, 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 yeah. Action hero or regular? Oops. Well, I like this art better. Like, way better. Normal. Oops. Who is this art? Environment. I don't know. Johnny Splat. Harpy. We'll do Harpy soon. Harpy's fun. I want to use Mordengrad. Oh, I haven't done Fort Adamant yet. Let's do Fort Adamant.
this freaking guy. All right, Legacy's got a brace of flying smash and inspiring presence and lead from the front. Looks like he's ready to go. Tempest has ball lightning into the stratosphere, lightning slash and vicious cyclone. Haka has dominion punish the weak Taeha and vitality surge. I know I've done Ford admin before, but like I haven't done it in a while. I guess is what I'm saying. Uh, Parse has exploit vulnerability, impossible shot, recompile and targeting arrow. And stuntman has in medius res, lembuscade times two, and the usual solution. Unfortunately, in medius res again. Gosh darn it. I always forget to put him, you know, fur further up. Frosthound, Soldier, please no guard, Bionaut, Psyweaver, Shock Infantry, nice. Cork Drive, okay, that's that's annoying. Yeah, okay, that's, that's fine, we can get rid of that. Take our lumps here. Some annoying stuff in play here. That's all right. We're gonna start out with Inspiring Presence, regain some of that uh, damage we took earlier. Galvanize again. All right. Uh, I wanna deal with that Translocator real fast. Mostly because everything else is about to die here except the Shock Infantry. differently and actually got to do some damage so I'm gonna hold, hold on one second. Nope. Hold. Oh wait. Oh wow. He got it. Oh. Uh, okay. Oh it's projectile damage. That's right. Derp. Uh. Yeah it's just immune to projectile so that's fine. Might as well punish the weak here since we're going after it. Boof. And just like that, things are clear. Um, boy, that was that was fast. Sure, let's do this. Oh, nice crit molt! So much damage increase. Stunt man, what are you gonna do? The usual solution sounds good. Hyper aggressive. This is a team for the ages, folks. Bionic Patroller hits Haka for a little bit. Boss gets angry and play and brings out Field Lieutenant Tamar. Legacy not having any of it. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to see her anyway. We don't even want her on our schedule. That's always good. Dead you. Dead you, dead you. Lightning slash. Boy, this team is just, just swinging for it. Let's go Dominion. Maybe get some of that savage mana going. In the meantime. Let's talk about battle. That's not what I'm looking for. Critical multiplier is pretty solid, though. Let's get rid of this thing. It's ugly. And I don't want to see it. No Time to Bleed is a pretty solid card here. Um, boss is getting an early whooping. Our heroes woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Like I said, it's ugly and I don't want to I don't want to look at it. Not uh, not not being offensive to Adam's artwork. Adam's artwork is gorgeous, but Oh, radioactivist. Oh look who's here. What a jerk. Fire sworn. Fine. Sorry, stuntman. Oh dear. Bouncing damage all over the place here. 
Flying Smash. Let's get the Fire Sworn. And we'll get this thing. And we'll get him. Because why wouldn't we? Another back fist strike. Boy! The aggression. It's real. It's so real. Uh, I mean, right? Like, just go ape? Boy, this is going to be like a two-minute game. Nice. Dominion's, Dominion's doing work. Still not getting that savage mana, though. All right. Run another one out. <laughs> oh, it's all right. Sneezy. Um. Oh yeah, yeah for sure. We'll do this. And uh, I guess stunt man. Why don't you have Grand Warlord Voss speed run? The sequel to the Baron Blade speed run. <laughs> Oh, we're doing a Baron Blade speed run in just a minute, let me assure you. But we're going to do a really weird team. It's not really a speed run, I guess. It's more just a run. That seems solid. I might do a Gloomweaver run, actually. Gloomweaver's a lot of fun, too. Hey, Brian the Wolf Hunt. Yeah, we uh, got crushed by Oblivion, and now we're doing backup story shenanigans because we can. We're doing a Grand Warlord Voss speed run because it's really his fault. Although it's also my fault for not paying attention to certain details. But I should have been. Oh well. Yeah, he's, he's a real jerk. Um, that said, I mean, whatever. So we're just speed running some villains here. I'm going to do Voss, and we'll do Baron Blade, and then we'll do Gloomweaver. If there's time. And that's how, like... So on weeks, uh, just for those arriving late, um, on weeks that I don't have time for a Zach Sucks of Games for us to riff a story, or if I just don't have a story idea at all, I'll do Oblivion, because I, I do really enjoy that game mode, It's it's uh, and it's stories too. Like, it's it may not be me narrating a story the way that Tales from the Archive has been in the past, but uh, it's just fun and interesting stories. Um, and, and, you know, it's just, it's just a good challenge. And then afterward, I'll just kind of fool around with Sentinels because it, it, I don't get to do that quite as quite as often as I'd like. So, yeah, like that big jerk. I don't want to destroy things. I don't want to destroy things. Yay! Settle the scores. Yeah, well, we are definitely settling scores. That showed up on your screens because it's behind the Tales of the Archive logo, but... Alright. Speedrun number two. Baron Blade. Let's get a weird hero team. Stuff that's not hyper-aggressive. Things that we have to set up. Yeah. Well, yeah, that first that first part of the game it, where you're just finding reward stuff is really, really super cool. Akash Thria. Alright. Yeah. 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 Done. Done, done, done. Uh, other not hyper-aggressive people. Scholar. Uh, Scholar can be hyper-aggressive, though. Let's bring in Night Mist. Argent Adept. <laughs> Just these high-complexity heroes. Yeah. Uh, oh, here's one. We don't get to see very often. Visionary. Uh, and then we'll go... Uh, oh, we can put the... Oh, you know what? Enclave of the Endlings. 
Well, I'm going to save Unity for the Gloomweaver fight, Johnny Splat. I don't know what Baron Blade is up to here, but... Akashthria has Earth's atone Attunement, Rapid Growth, Strangling Roots, and vitali Vitalized Thorns? All right. Argent Adept has Arcane Cadence, as he often does. Inventive Preparation, Polyphoric Flare, and Shirzo of Frost and Flame. Uh, Visionary has Decoy Projection, Foresight, Psychic Maelstrom, and Suggestion. Night Mist has Enlightenment, Mistfield Recovery, Mist of Time, and Tome of Elder Magic. Per usual, we got the Mobile Defense Platform. We got Devious Disruption. That's just going to happen. All right. Um, let's see. I don't care about that. Sure, let's rapid growth. <laughs> Groom. Bosto. Endling Refuge. Slamara. Venox. Come on, hit. No corruption. This early? Good, uh, Brian Wolf Hunt. Um, best way to get those to me is to we will uh, we will riff them in uh, uh, Zach Sucks at Games on Thursday nights. That's the best way to get them to me. Uh, no, I want them to play. That top of the deck, sure. Bottom of the deck, that one. Trash that one. Play the other Arcane Cadence. <laughs> nice. Uh, this one. Sure. Uh, nope. That one. That. And we'll play the other Arcane Cadence. Oh, we didn't hit the fourth. Um. Sure. Alright, there that is. Um, let's get her set up. Foresight and cerebral hemorrhage. Nice. Night Mist, Elder Ring, Mist Form, Discard. Yeah. It's not going to happen anytime soon. Alright. Um, nice. Yep, Thursday nights at 6, uh, until a question mark, really. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. Oh, dang it, another mobile defense platform? That's not helpful. Alright, this, this seems strong. Herded. Darn it. This is Zream. Alrighty. Well, Sherzo's there. That's not really what I want to do, though. Company on this one is Architect of Kane's Health. I'll run it out. I'd rather let people use powers though. If I can get her set up. Precog and twist.
Demoralize is pretty solid. Let's do that. Star Shield and Mists. There's another Maelstrom, that's nice. Let's do this. Nice. Okay, Healer's Lash, nice. We're getting the aggro cards now. Unfortunately, we got three. Well, three in the bin. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That's not good. Oh boy, backlash field. All right. End of your turn. Discard or play the top card of the environment deck. Shuffle some. Shuffle the either one card or all cards from the environment trash into the environment deck. Discard or play the top card of the environment deck. Eh. Alright, we're going to do this. Brazat. Get rid of Yansa. Are there any of her? Yeah, there's a few of her cards. Oh uh, yeah, we'll take the two. It's not on top. You got it, Sparky. Try to get rid of that thing. Do that. Solid. Yep, that'll do. Perfectly. Blow up the platform, then start going ham. Okay, sweet. I don't see us using this anytime soon. Nice. Alright, she is getting ready. Nice. Thanks, RPD. Need to get uh, some of the recovery cards back into play here. Slamara's back. I thought we got rid of her. Wait. Uh, can't deal damage. Or can't play cards. Oh, let's put them into play, though. Stupid specifics. Harp does perform harmony and accompany them. So that's. No, that's not bad actually. New sadistic. Yeah, right. Keep you alive. This is going to be a slow game. We have to play cards to deal damage. It's just rough. I don't want to go 
drawings right now, so that's fine. Oh yeah, 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 no, I definitely want to do some Scholar and Guys stuff coming up. The problem is, like, so I've, I've, I haven't been properly, like, my voice hasn't been properly working since about February, and it's finally starting to come back, knocking on wood. Um, so I haven't really been able to do Guys' voice, which is unfun. Good cards. Venox. Dang it. Hey, Infinite Horse stories are good. We like those. Oh, that's cool. Ooh, that's gonna be tough to write, but yeah. is on here folks like he's at seven out of 15 which is not good Call forth is not what we were looking for there. Let's discard to gain health. She's doing all right. Groom is here. Now, oh boy, another one. He's got gauntlets on both hands. Um... 
Sorry, Groom. are way too complicated. I'm just gonna put this in the play. Right? Creeping mold. That was foolish. I did that wrongly. Telekinetic cocoon. Not what I was looking for. Another one. Going in. there now. He's at nine. Chairman's pretty hard to write, yeah. Actually, Chairman's not nearly as difficult as Progeny, for example. I did finally write Progeny into a story, though, recently. Which was cool. Worked pretty, pretty well. Yeah, Plague Rat's great for pretty much every story. Gloomweaver's actually pretty easy to do, too. Thank you. 
Yeah, that's that's fair, Brian. I can see that. Flipped him, finally. Boy, that's a long haul. We may not get to Gloomweaver tonight, folks. Keeping ourselves alive, though, like that's a thing. field. Send that right back at him. Get that thing out of here. Come on, stay alive. Um... Five minutes to finish this, folks. Oh, shoot. Oh, I did that wrong. Get this. I'm trying, I'm trying. I don't know what I did there. I wasn't paying attention. It's probably bad. Okay, cool. Well, that's just annoying.
He's a 10. We can do this. Come on. He's a 1. Yes, got him. All right, everybody. I hope that everybody enjoyed tonight's broadcast of Tales from the Archive here on Handle Arbor Games. If you liked what you saw, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and share our channel both on social media and in person. You can follow Handle Arbor on Twitter, Facebook, and YouTube, as well as Handle Arbor Games here on Twitch. You can follow me. Uh, if you, sorry, if you want to see more content from me, including the Adjacent Hex podcast and the occasional sketch comedy video, Facebook.com forward slash Another Letdown is the place to be for that. If you have story submissions for me to tackle or just want to say hi, hit me up on Twitter. My name is at D-E-N-O-N-C-Z-D. I also do live streams of other video games on my own team's Twitch channel. That's twitch.tv forward slash Another Letdown. Zach Sucks at Games broadcasts Thursday nights at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, that's also where we riff Tales from the Archive stories. Um, so if you want to contribute, that's the best way to do so. We will also be bringing uh, Zach and Alex gear up back on May 18th. That's a Saturday. We're going to start at 10 o'clock a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, and we're going to run as, as long as it takes us to complete at least Act 1 of Gears of War Ultimate Edition. So you can look forward to that as well. Sentinels of the Multiverse is currently available for iOS, Android, and PC, Mac, and Linux via Steam. And as always, in good old-fashioned cardboard and ink. You can get the game and more information at sentinelsdigital.com. Uh, Tales from the Archive will be off next week for a family function, but I will be back in one fortnight. That's two weeks from today. I hope everybody has a wonderful week, and I will talk to you in two weeks. Bye.